Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So generally, I primarily also here expect still that we will see lower lows, that Ethereum has to make a lower low. This is purely the case because generally the price action to the upside has been fairly weak. Um, and also the bullish scenarios that we've been tracking here over the last couple of weeks, last three weeks, they have been invalidated a few times, so we can still make it work in a bullish way with this one, two, and now a possible three to the upside. Um, but again, until we break above this red resistance area all the way up to uh, here between 12.55 and 12.80, it is just very likely that we will still make a lower low. Yeah, I just need to re-emphasize that it is still the case that we are here in a in a yeah, basically you could call it even a bear flag. Yeah, we talked about that in the last videos. Um, but yeah, but there is also a realistic chance to break out to the upside. It is still too early to confirm it. Um, but that's the main reason why I'm tracking here this possible bullish scenario and very likely or very clearly when we invalidate that, then we pretty much know. Yeah, with, you never know with certainty, but we know with high probability that we are heading further down. So I explained that also quite in detail in the Bitcoin video, they are fairly similar. Even though I generally like the Ethereum chart a little bit more, it looks a little bit more bullish than the Bitcoin chart here. Um, overall, yeah, overall, we can count from the low here at 880, a wave one to the upside, reached exactly this resistance area here. We then started to move down here in a wave two, that's a three wave structure. Sorry if you hear the dog in the background, I just carry on. Um, and we are now possibly here in the third wave to the upside here in blue. Yeah. So that third wave to the upside is still ongoing. Nothing has changed from my last video. And um, what we have seen here is possibly a first wave up and a second wave down. And we might now be in this third wave in yellow. That would be the bullish scenario I showed you in the previous video when we talked about what was coming down here as being um, the, yeah, possibly a wave two retracement. And within this wave two retracement, I gave you some key areas to look out for. One of them was the 78.6% FIP level here. Uh, let me just do that accurately here at 1072 so we came down to 1077 also gave you the 1080 uh, level here which is this one here and the previous um, resistance so we basically with this retest we for now flipped resistance for support which you could see as bullish i still have a bit of a problem with this wave too because i can't really count a clear three wave structure so what we might have seen here might only have been in the bullish scenario here, an A and a B, and we would now see the wave C to the downside that could reach, for example, that $1,072 level, the 78.6% FIP level, or the $1,059 level, the 88.7% FIP levels. So we need to be prepared for that, that that might occur. Um, at least then we could count three waves nicely. Yeah? But the wave two, in terms of the retracement, it already reached what it needs to do in a wave two, absolutely. And as soon as we go above 1172 here, I think we can be certain that we are moving up in the wave three here and that we have a bit more of a rally. Um, absolutely. I think this is what we need to keep an eye on now, the wave one high on one hand and here to the downside, a very, very important level to the downside is that $1,045 level. I think if we go below that, then yeah, probably we will go to 1000. And then I think it's very likely that we also will break that and then eventually see here a lower low. Um, we, we have to say there's a long way to go here for, e, for um, ETH to go down yeah, to the previous swing low. I would, now how, how much is that from here? It is a 22%. Um, but again, absolutely possible until we break above this red resistance area. So for now, nothing has been invalidated here. The bullish scenario is still very much alive. Um, absolute invalidation of the bullish scenario would happen below $1,000. But the first key level to watch out for is here, the $1,045 level. Um, 
Yeah, and then in terms of, you know, can we see, this is obviously the bullish wave count. Could we see this as bearish as well? And yes, bearish one is pretty much the same story as Bitcoin, where um, we are, we made, made a peak here, probably in a wave four, and we would now be in the wave five to the downside. This here could have been just the first wave. Yeah, um, we're now moving up here in a wave two, and then afterwards we have a strong sell off. So we are pretty much here where we are going to see a decision soon, like I mentioned in the Bitcoin video, either we now do a really, really crazy rally to the upside in a wave three, we'll blast here through the resistance area, or we are going to turn around and have a very strong move down because in both scenarios, it would be a wave three. So it would be either very strong up or very strong down. That means we will have a decision here very shortly. For now, again, I gave you the key levels above which and below which levels um, each scenario would, will get more likely. So in the bearish scenario, that wave two, how high can it actually still retrace? So let's take a look actually at that as well. Um, we have now reached also very important to say yeah, earlier today, we've reached the 61.8% FIB level already also in a possible wave B. So let's say this was a wave one down, then we might have seen here, yeah, then an A, B or C maybe to finish off the wave, um, to finish off the wave um, two. And that means a one, a two, and we might already be in the wave three down and have seen here a one and a two and go further down. So. Again, what remains important are these levels that I get, just gave you to determine which of these scenarios is going to work out. And I think we're here really at a decision point. Also from a bearish point of view, what you can see emerging here on the chart is, and that is what we see on many crypto charts at the moment, a possible head and shoulders, a bit of an ugly one, but actually here with a neckline at around 1,030, sort of in this range here, all the way down to $1,000. And I think if the $1,000 level breaks, then it should take us here below the low of the 18th of June. And that is pretty much what I'm seeing here and how I understand currently the charts. Um, getting very interesting at the moment, certainly, at least a little bit more volatility in the market at the moment. So yeah, hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.